How's it going? So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to animate fog. And this is really, really easy. This works in Eevee and Cycles, but we're going to be previewing it at Eevee because you'll be able to see it real time and it's really cool. And Eevee's easy to render stuff. But before I get into the tutorial, I'm going to give a quick shout out to Sketchfab. I got this model here from Sketchfab and they have an amazing store where you can sell assets, you can buy assets. Go check them out in the description. They're super, super cool. Okay, so I created this little scene here in uh, Blender. And uh, super simple, but it's got some cool stuff going on. If you want to see the speed run video, it's up on my Patreon on how I created this whole scene. Really fun little video there. Uh, you can get that in the description. So what I'm going to do is click on the object that is created this, which is the material. So I'm going to delete that, which deletes the volume. I'm going to hop on over to the shading tab. I'm going to click new. Make sure that you have a object that is covering your scene. So in my case, it's going to be this big cube right here. It covers the whole scene. That's very important covering your whole scene. Now, I'm going to hit Z and rendered. And now that I have a new material on that cube, I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to hit Shift A, and I'm going to type in volume. And we're going to get the principled volume node and plug the volume here into the volume. Everything goes away, and that's because the volume is really, really dense. If you bring your density down, you'll get a cool volume. And already, this looks super cool. This is what fog sometimes look like, but we're going to get a more cloudy fog. So we're going to get in a color ramp and mess with that density. So color ramp plug that here, shift A and add the color ramp and plug it into the density and everything's gone. Now we're gonna get a noise texture. So shift A in OI, noise texture. And if you have the Node Wrangler add-on, it comes with Blender by itself. Just go in the add-ons and search Node Wrangler. You're gonna hit Control T, it adds a texture setup. You get a mapping node, plug it into a texture coordinate and use the object coordinate here. And then we'll plug the noise texture factor into the color ramp here. And then we'll take the black portion here of the color ramp and bring it in and you'll start seeing how it works. Now this is really small, it's because of the scale of the noise texture. So I'm just gonna bring it down until I like how it's looking. So I like this as our fog. Now we wanna animate it. So here on the noise texture, we're gonna go to 3D to 4D, which allows us to have this W function. So if you play with the W, you can see how the, the fog animates, but that's not very realistic. So first let's take the detail in our fog and bring it all the way up to say 13. If you bring it all the way to 16, it kind of overdoes your render time. Now, we're going to be animating the Y and animating the W here on the noise. So right click here on the Y, insert keyframe, click on the node so you can see where your keyframe put, and then click this button here, go to the very end, and I have a 10 second animation. So I think that is pretty good. Right click, insert keyframe. So now we have this animation happening. Now, it's cool, but it's unrealistic because the clouds are kind of remaining their same shape. And that's not how it works, especially if there's wind going. So that's what the W is good for. So right click on the W, insert keyframe, go to the very end, and we're going to be pl playing with it. So right about there, insert keyframe. So when you press play, you're going to get this really, really cool fog animation. In the EV preview, it's hard to tell exactly how it's going to look. You can see this. Now, if your fog isn't looking like mine, what what may be happening is in your volumetrics tab, your tile size is small. So if you have it up to two, which is the highest quality of fog, um, if your computer can't handle it, maybe go to 8 pixels, 8px. Mine can handle it 4. So that's how you do that. And there you go. If you want to see how I built up this scene again, that speed video is up on Patreon. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you learned something.